House of Habsburg. The House of Habsburg, traditionally spelled Habsburg in English, also called the House of Austria, was one of the most influential and distinguished royal houses of Europe. The throne of the Holy Roman Empire was continuously occupied by the Habsburgs from 1438 until their extinction in the male line in 1740. The house also produced emperors and kings of the Kingdom of Bohemia, Kingdom of England, Jury Uxeris King, Kingdom of Germany, Kingdom of Hungary, Kingdom of Croatia, Kingdom of Illyria, Second Mexican Empire, Kingdom of Ireland, Jury Uxeris King, Kingdom of Portugal, and Kingdom of Spain as well as rulers of several Dutch and Italian principalities. From the 16th century, following the reign of Charles V, the dynasty was split between its Austrian and Spanish branches. Although they ruled distinct territories, they nevertheless maintained close relations and frequently intermarried. The house takes its name from Habsburg Castle, a fortress built in the 1020s in present-day Switzerland, in the canton of Aargau, by Count Radbot of Kletgau, who chose to name his fortress Habsburg. His grandson Otto II was the first to take the fortress name as his own, adding Count of Habsburg to his title. The House of Habsburg gathered dynastic momentum through the 11th, 12th, and 13th centuries. By 1276, Count Radbot's seventh generation descendant Rudolf of Habsburg moved the family's power base from Habsburg Castle to the Duchy of Austria. Rudolf became King of Germany in 1273 and the dynasty of the House of Habsburg was truly entrenched in 1276 when Rudolf became ruler of Austria, which the Habsburgs ruled until 1918. A series of dynastic marriages enabled the family to vastly expand its domains to include Burgundy, Spain and its colonial empire, Bohemia, Hungary, and other territories. In the 16th century, the family separated into the senior Habsburg Spain and the junior Habsburg monarchy branches who settled their mutual claims in the Onyate Treaty. The House of Habsburg became extinct in the 18th century. The senior Spanish branch ended upon the death of Charles II of Spain in 1700 and was replaced by the House of Bourbon. The remaining Austrian branch became extinct in the male line in 1740 with the death of Holy Roman Emperor Charles VI, and completely in 1780 with the death of his eldest daughter Maria Theresa of Austria. It was succeeded by the Vaudemont branch of the House of Lorraine descendants of Maria Theresa's marriage to Francis III, Duke of Lorraine. The new successor house styled itself formally as the House of Habsburg-Lorraine-German, Habsburg-Lotharingen, and because it was often confusingly still referred to as the House of Habsburg, historians use the unofficial appellation of the Habsburg monarchy for the countries and provinces that were ruled by the between 1521 and 1780 and then by the successor branch of Habsburg-Lorraine until 1918. The Lorraine branch continues to exist to this day and its members use the Habsburg name, example, Otto von Habsburg. The Habsburg Empire had the advantage of size, but multiple disadvantages. There were rivals on four sides, its finances were unstable, the population was fragmented into multiple ethnicities, and its industrial base was thin. Its naval resources were so minimal that it did not attempt to build an overseas empire. It did have the advantage of good diplomats, typified by Metternich. 1773 to 1859, they had a grand strategy for survival that kept the empire going despite wars with the Ottomans, Frederick the Great, Napoleon, and Bismarck, until the final disaster of the First World War. Along with the Capetian dynasty, it was one of the two most powerful continental European royal families, dominating European politics for nearly five centuries. Their principal roles, including the roles of their cadet branches, were as follows. Numerous other titles were attached to the crowns listed above. The progenitor of the House of Habsburg may have been Gund from the Rich, a count in the Breisgau who lived in the 10th century, and four with farther back as the early medieval lad Elric, Duke of Alsace, father of the Edishunids from which Habsburg derives. His grandson Radbot, Count of Habsburg founded the Habsburg Castle, after which the Habsburgs are named. The origins of the castle's name, located in what is now the Swiss canton of Aargau, are uncertain. There is disagreement on whether the name is derived from the High German Habichtsburg, Hawk Castle, or from the Middle High German word Hab slash Hap meaning fort, as there is a river with a ford nearby. The first documented use of the name by the dynasty itself has been traced to the year 1108. The Habsburg Castle was the family seat in the 11th, 12th, and 13th centuries. The Habsburgs expanded their influence through arranged marriages and by gaining political privileges, especially countship rights in Zurichgau, Aargau and Torgau. In the 13th century, 
the House aimed its marriage policy at families in Upper Alsace and Swabia. They were also able to gain high positions in the church hierarchy for their members. Territorially, they often profited from the extinction of other noble familias who was the House of Kyberg. By the second half of the 13th century, Count Rudolf IV, 1218-1291, had become one of the most influential territorial lords in the area between the Vosges Mountains and Lake Constance. Due to these impressive preconditions, on October 1, 1273, Rudolf was chosen as the King of the Romans and received the name Rudolf I of Germany. In 1282, the Habsburgs gained the rulership of the Duchy of Austria, which they then held for over 600 years, until 1918. Through the forged Privilegia Maius document, 1358-59, a special bond was created between the House and Austria. The document, forged at the behest of Rudolf IV, Duke of Austria, 1339-1365, also attempted to introduce rules to preserve the unity of the family's Austrian lands. In the long term, this indeed succeeded, but Rudolf's descendants ignored the rule, leading to the separation of the Albertian and Leopoldian family lines in 1379. By marrying Elizabeth of Luxembourg, the daughter of Holy Roman Emperor Sigismund in 1437, Duke Albert V, 1397-1439, became the ruler of Bohemia and Hungary, expanding the family's political horizons. The next year, Albert V was crowned as the King of the Romans as Albert II. After his early death in war with the Turks in 1439, and after the death of his son Ladislaus Postumus in 1457, the Habsburgs lost Bohemia and Hungary again. National kingdoms were established in these areas, and the Habsburgs were not able to restore their influence there for decades. In 1440, Frederick III was chosen by the Electoral College to succeed Albert II as the king. Several Habsburg kings had attempted to gain the imperial throne over the years, but success finally arrived on March 19, 1452, when Pope Nicholas V crowned Frederick III as the Holy Roman Emperor in a grand ceremony held in Rome. In Frederick III, the Pope found an important political ally with whose help he was able to counter the conciliar movement. While in Rome, Frederick III married Eleanor of Portugal enabling him to build a network of connections with dynasties in the west and southeast of Europe. Frederick was rather distant to his family. Eleanor, by contrast, had a great influence on the raising and education of Frederick's children, and therefore played an important role in the family's rise to prominence. After Frederick III's coronation, the Habsburgs were able to hold the imperial throne almost continuously for centuries, until 1806. As emperor, Frederick III took a leading role inside the family and positioned himself as the judge over the family's internal conflicts, often making use of the Privilegium Maius. He was able to restore the unity of the house's Austrian lands, as the Albertinian line was now extinct. Territorial integrity was also strengthened by the extinction of the Tyrolean branch of the Leopoldian line in 1490-1496. Frederick aim was to make Austria a united country, stretching from the Rhine to the Mernli the on the external front, one of Frederick's main achievements was the Siege of Neuss, 1474-75, in which he forced Charles the Bold of Burgundy to give his daughter Mary of Burgundy as wife to Frederick's son Maximilian. The wedding took place on the evening of August 16, 1477 and ultimately resulted in the Habsburgs acquiring control of the Low Countries. After Mary's early death in 1482, Maximilian attempted to secure the Burgundy inheritance to one of his and Mary's children Philip the Handsome. Charles VIII of France contested this, using both military and dynastic means, but the Burgundian succession was finally ruled in favor of Philip in the Treaty of Sanlis in 1493. After the death of his father in 1493, Maximilian was proclaimed the new king of the Romans, receiving the name Maximilian I. Maximilian was initially unable to travel to Rome to receive the imperial title from the Pope due to opposition from Venice and from the French who were occupying Milan, as well a refusal from the Pope due to enemy forces being present on his territory. In 1508, Maximilian proclaimed himself as the chosen emperor, and this was also recognized by the Pope due to changes in political alliances. This had a historical consequence in that, in the future, the Roman king would also automatically become emperor, without needing the Pope's consent. In 1530, Emperor Charles V became the last person to be crowned as the emperor by the Pope. Maximilian's rule, 1493-1519, was a time of great expansion for the Habsburgs. In 1497, Maximilian's son Philip the Handsome, 
also known as Philip the Fair married Joanna of Castile, also known as Joan the Mad, heiress of Castile, Aragon, and most of Spain. Philip and Joan had six children, the eldest of whom became Emperor Charles V and inherited the kingdoms of Castile and Aragon, including their colonies in the New World, as Charles I, Southern Italy, Austria, and the Low Countries. The foundations for the later Empire of Austria-Hungary were laid in 1515 by the means of a double wedding between Louis, only son of Vladislaus II, King of Bohemia and Hungary, and Maximilian's granddaughter Mary, and between her brother Archduke Ferdinand and Vladislaus' daughter Anna. The wedding was celebrated in grand style on July 22, 1515, and has been described by some historians as the first Congress of Vienna due to its significant implications for Europe's political landscape. All the children were still minors, so the wedding was formally completed in 1521. Vladislaus died on March 13, 1516, and Maximilian died on January 12, 1519, but his designs were ultimately successful. On Louis's death in 1526, Maximilian's grandson and Charles V's brother Ferdinand became the King of Bohemia. The Habsburg dynasty achieved the position of a true world power by the time of Charles V's election in 1519. For the first and only time in their history, the world emperor ruling an empire on which the sun never set. The Habsburgs' policies against Protestantism led to an eradication of the former throughout vast areas under their control. After the assignment, on April 21, 1521, of the Austrian lands to Ferdinand I by his brother Emperor Charles V, 1519-1556, the dynasty split into the junior branch of the Austrian Habsburgs and the senior branch of the Spanish Habsburgs. The Austrian Habsburgs held the title of Holy Roman Emperor after Charles' abdication in 1556, as well as the Habsburg hereditary lands in the kingdoms of Bohemia and Hungary. The senior Spanish branch ruled over Spain, its Italian possessions and its colonial empire, the Netherlands, and, for a time, 1580-1640, Portugal. Hungary was partly under Habsburg rule from 1526. For 150 years most of the country was occupied by the Ottoman Turks but these territories were conquered in 1683-1699. In the Secret Onyate Treaty, the Spanish and Austrian Habsburgs settled their mutual claims. The Spanish Habsburgs died out in 1700, prompting the war off Spanish succession, as did the last male of the Austrian Habsburg line in 1740, prompting the war of the Austrian succession and finally the last female of the Habsburg male line in 1780. The Habsburgs sought to consolidate their power by the frequent use of consanguineous marriages. This resulted in a cumulatively deleterious effect on their gene pool. Marriages between first cousins, or between uncle and niece, were commonplace in the family. A study of 3,000 family members over 16 generations by the University of Santiago de Compostela suggests that inbreeding directly led to their extinction. The gene pool eventually became so small that the last off the Spanish line Charles II, who was severely disabled from birth, perhaps by genetic disorders, possessed a genome comparable to that of a child born to a brother and sister, as did his father, probably because of remote inbreeding. The Austrian branch became extinct in the male line in 1740 with the death of Charles VI and in the female line in 1780 with the death of his daughter Maria Theresa. It was succeeded by the Vaudemont branch of the House of Lorraine in the person of her son Joseph II. The new successor house styled itself formally as House of Habsburg-Lorraine, German, Habsburg-Lotharingen, although it was often referred to as simply the House of Habsburg. The heiress of the last Austrian Habsburgs Maria Theresa had married Francis Stephan, Duke of Lorraine, both of them were great-grandchildren of Habsburg Emperor Ferdinand III, but from different empresses. Their descendants carried on the Habsburg tradition from Vienna under the dynastic name Habsburg-Lorraine, although technically a new ruling house came into existence in the Austrian territories, the House of Lorraine, see Dukes of Lorraine family tree. It is thought that extensive intra-family marriages within both lines contributed to their extinctions. On August 6, 1806 the Holy Roman Empire was dissolved under the French Emperor Napoleon I's reorganization of Germany. However, in anticipation of the loss of his title of Holy Roman Emperor, Francis II declared himself hereditary Emperor of Austria, as Francis I, on 11 August 1804, three months after Napoleon had declared himself Emperor of the French on May 18, 1804. Emperor Francis I of Austria used the official full list of titles, we, Francis I, by the grace of God Emperor of Austria, 
King of Jerusalem, Hungary, Bohemia, Dalmatia, Croatia, Slavonia, Galicia and Lodomeria, Archduke of Austria, Duke of Lorraine, Salzburg, Würzburg, Franconia, Styria, Carinthia, and Carniola, Grand Duke of Krakow, Grand Prince of Transylvania, Margrave of Moravia, Duke of Sandomir, Masovia, Lublin, Upper, and Lower Silesia, Auschwitz and Zader, Teschen, and Freiul, Prince of Berchtesgaden and Mergentheim, Princely Count of Habsburg, Gorizia, and Gradiska into the Tyrol, and Margrave of Upper and Lower Lusatia and Istria. The Austro-Hungarian Compromise of 1867 created a real union, whereby the Kingdom of Hungary was granted co-equality with the Empire of Austria, that henceforth didn't include the Kingdom of Hungary as a crownland anymore. The Austrian and the Hungarian lands became independent entities enjoying equal status under this arrangement. The Hungarians referred to their ruler as king and never emperor. CK. U. K. This prevailed until the Habsburgs' deposition from both Austria and Hungary in 1918 following defeat in World War I. On November 11, 1918, with his empire collapsing around him, the last Habsburg ruler, Charles I of Austria, who also reigned as Charles IV of Hungary, issued a proclamation recognizing Austria's right to determine the future of the state and renouncing any role in state affairs. Two days later, he issued a separate proclamation for Hungary. Even though he did not officially abdicate, this is considered the end of the Habsburg dynasty. In 1919, the new Republican Austrian government subsequently passed a law banishing the Habsburgs from Austrian territory until they renounced all intentions of regaining the throne and accepted the status of private citizens. Charles made several attempts to regain the throne of Hungary, and in 1921 the Hungarian government passed a law which revoked Charles' rights and dethroned the Habsburgs. The Habsburgs did not formally abandon all hope of returning to power until Otto von Habsburg, the eldest son of Charles I, on May 31, 1961 renounced all claims to the throne. The dynasty's motto was leave the waging of wars to others. But you, happy Austria, marry, for the realms which Mars awards to others, Venus transfers to you. Similarly, this family tree only includes male scions of the House of Habsburg Lorraine who survived to adulthood. The Habsburg Empire was never composed of a single unified and unitary state as Bourbon France, Hohenzollern Germany, or Great Britain was. It was made up of an accretion of territories that owed their historic loyalty to the head of the House of Habsburg as hereditary lord. The Habsburgs had mostly married the heiresses of these territories, most famously of Spain and the Netherlands. They used their coats of arms then as a statement of their right to rule all these territories. As there were many territories, so their arms were complex and reflected the waxing and waning position of the Habsburgs within European power politics. It was not until the 19th century, see below arms of dominion of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, that the arms began to take on their own life as symbols of a state which may have an existence outside of the Habsburg dynasty. A complete listing of the arms can be found at the Before Rudolf rose to German king. The Habsburgs were counts of Baden in what is today southwestern Germany and Switzerland. In the late Middle Ages, when the Habsburgs expanded their territories in the east, they usually ruled as dukes of the Duchy of Austria which covered only what is today Lower Austria, Niederösterreich, and the eastern part of Upper Austria, Oberösterreich. The Habsburg possessions also included the rest of what was then called Inner Austria, Inner Osterich, i.e. the Duchy of Styria and then expanded west to include the Duchy of Carinthia and Carniola in 1335 and the Count of Tyrol in 1363. Their original scattered possessions in the southern Alsace, southwestern Germany and Vorarlberg were collectively known as Further Austria. The senior Habsburg dynasty generally ruled Lower Austria from Vienna as Archduke, Paramount Duke, of the Duchy of Austria. The Styrian lands had already been ruled in personal union by the Babenberg Dukes of Austria since 1192 and were finally seized with the Austrian lands by the Habsburg King Rudolf I of Germany upon his victory in the 1278 battle on the March Falb. In 1335, Rudolf's grandson Duke Albert II of Austria also received the Carinthian Duchy with the adjacent March of Carniola at the hands of Emperor Louis the Bavarian as imperial fiefs. The Habsburg Dukes gradually lost their homelands south of the Rhine and Lake Constance to the expanding Old Swiss Confederacy. Unless mentioned explicitly, the Dukes of Austria also ruled over Further Austria until 1379. After that year, Further Austria was ruled by the princely Count Ofterol. Names in italics designate Dukes who never actually ruled. 
month. When Albert's son Duke Rudolph IV of Austria died in 1365, his younger brothers Albert III and Leopold III quarreled about his heritage and in the Treaty of Neuburg of 1379 finally split the Habsburg territories, the Albertinian line would rule in the Archduchy of Austria proper, then sometimes referred to as Lower Austria, Niederösterreich, but comprising modern Lower Austria and most of Upper Austria, while the Leopoldian line ruled in the Styrian, Corinthian, and Carniolan territories, subsumed under the denotation of Inner Austria. At that time their share also comprised a role in the original Habsburg possessions in Swabia, called Further Austria, sometimes both were collectively referred to as Upper Austria, Obisterreich, in that context, also not to be confused with the modern state of that name. After the death of Leopold's eldest son William in 1406, the Leopoldinian line was further split among his brothers into the Inner Austrian territory under Ernest Iron and a Tyrolean slash Further Austrian line under Frederick IV. In 1457 Ernest's son Duke Frederick V of Inner Austria also gained the Austrian Archduchy after his Albertine cousin Ladislaus the Posthumous had died without issue. 1490 saw the reunification of all Habsburg lines, when Archduke Sigismund of Further Austria in Tyrol resigned in favor of Frederick's son Maximilian I. In 1512, the Habsburg territories were incorporated into the Imperial Austrian Circle. Archduke of Austria was invented in the Privilegium Maius, a 14th-century forgery initiated by Duke Rudolph IV of Austria. Originally, it was meant to denote the ruler, thus Arch, of the Duchy of Austria, usually from Vienna, in an effort to put the Habsburgs on a par with the prince-electors, as Austria had been bypassed as hereditary prince-electors of the empire when the Golden Bull of 1356 assigned that title to the highest-ranking imperial princes. The Holy Roman Emperor Charles IV refused to recognize the title. The archducal title was only officially recognized in 1453 by Emperor Frederick III. Emperor Frederick III himself used just Duke of Austria, never Archduke, until his death in 1493. The title was first granted to Frederick's younger brother, Albert VI of Austria, died 1463, who used it at least from 1458. In 1477, Frederick III also granted the title Archduke to his first cousin, Sigismund of Austria, ruler of Further Austria. Frederick's son and heir, the future Emperor Maximilian I, started to use the title, but apparently only after the death of his wife Mary of Burgundy, died 1482, as Archduke never appears in documents issued jointly by Maximilian and Mary as rulers in the Low Countries, where Maximilian is still titled Duke of Austria. The title appears first in documents issued under the joint rule of Maximilian and Philip, his underage son, in the Low Countries. Archduke was initially born by those dynasts who ruled the Habsburg territory, i.e., only by males and their consorts, appanages being commonly distributed to cadets. But these junior archdukes did not thereby become independent hereditary rulers, since all territories remain vested in the Austrian crown. Occasionally a territory might be combined with a separate gubernatorial mandate ruled by an archducal cadet. From the 16th century onward, archduke and its female form, archduchess, came to be used by all the members of the House of Habsburg, for example, Queen Marie Antoinette of France was born Archduchess Maria Antonia of Austria. After the death of Rudolph IV, his brothers Albert III and Leopold III ruled the Habsburg possessions together from 1365 until 1379, when they split the territory as in the Treaty of Neuburg, Albert keeping the Duchy of Austria and Leopold ruling over Styria, Carinthia, Carniola, the Windic March, Tyrol, and further Austria. Sigismund had no children and adopted Maximilian I, son of Duke Frederick V, Emperor Frederick III. Under Maximilian, the possessions of the Habsburgs would be united again under one ruler, after he had reconquered the Duchy of Austria after the death of Matthias Corvinus, who resided in Vienna and styled himself Duke of Austria from 1485 to 1490. The title Archduke of Austria, the one most famously associated with the Habsburgs, was invented in the Privilegium Maius, a 14th-century forgery initiated by Duke Rudolph IV of Austria. Originally, it was meant to denote the ruler of the, thus Archduchy of Austria, in an effort to put that ruler on par with the prince electors, as Austria had been passed over in the Golden Bull of 1356, when the electorships had been assigned. Holy Roman Emperor Charles IV refused to recognize the title. Ladislaus the Posthumous, 
Duke of Austria, who died in 1457, was never in his lifetime authorized to use it, and accordingly, not he nor anyone in his branch of the dynasty ever used the title. Duke Ernest the Iron and his descendants unilaterally assumed the title Archduke. This title was only officially recognized in 1453 by his son, Emperor Frederick III, when the Habsburgs had, permanently, gained control of the office of the Holy Roman Emperor. Emperor Frederick III himself used just Duke of Austria, never Archduke, until his death in 1493. Frederick's son and heir, the future Emperor Maximilian I, started to use the title, but apparently only after the death of his wife Mary of Burgundy, died 1482 as the title never appears in documents of joint Maximilian and Mary rule in the Low Countries, where Maximilian is still titled Duke of Austria. The title appears first in documents of joint Maximilian and Philip, his underage son, rule in the Low Countries. It only gained currency with Charles V and the descendants of his brother, the Emperor Ferdinand. The reigning Duke of Burgundy, Charles the Bold, was the chief political opponent of Maximilian's father Frederick III. Charles controlled not only Burgundy, both dukedom and county, but the wealthy and powerful southern Netherlands, current Flanders, the real center of his power. Frederick was concerned about Burgundy's expansive tendencies on the western border of his Holy Roman Empire, and to forestall military conflict, he attempted to secure the marriage of Charles's only daughter, Mary of Burgundy, to his son Maximilian. After the siege of Neuss, 1474 to 75, he was successful. The wedding between Maximilian and Mary took place on the evening of August 16, 1477, after the death of Charles. Mary and the Habsburgs lost the Duchy of Burgundy to France, but managed to defend and hold on to the rest what became the 17 provinces of the Habsburg Netherlands. After Mary's death in 1482, Maximilian acted as regent for his son. The Netherlands were frequently governed directly by a regent or governor-general, who was a collateral member of the Habsburg stock by the pragmatic sanction of 1549 Charles V combined the Netherlands into one administrative unit, to be inherited by his son Philip II. Charles effectively united the Netherlands as one entity. The Habsburgs controlled the 17 provinces of the Netherlands until the Dutch revolt in the second half of the 16th century, when they lost the seven northern Protestant provinces. They held on to the southern Catholic part, roughly modern Belgium and Luxembourg, as the Spanish and Austrian Netherlands until they were conquered by French revolutionary armies in 1795. The one exception to this was the period of 1601 to 1621, when shortly before Philip II died on September 13, 1598, he renounced his rights to the Netherlands in favor of his daughter Isabella and her fiancé, Archduke Albert of Austria, a younger son of Emperor Maximilian II. The territories reverted to Spain on the death of Albert in 1621, as the couple had no surviving offspring, and Isabella acted as regent governor until her death in 1633. The Habsburg kingdoms of Spain were more a personal union of possessions of the Habsburg king and dynast, who was king of Castile, Leon, Aragon, Valencia, sometime of Portugal, Naples, and Sicily, Duke of Milan, and Lord of the Americas, as well as Duke of Brabant. Count of Flanders and Holland, Duke of Luxembourg, i.e. all the Habsburg Netherlands. A listing of a number of the titles can be seen here. The dynast, head of the Spanish Habsburgs, i.e. the king, showed this wide range of claims in his arms. There are many more variants of these arms in the as well as coat of arms of the King of Spain, coat of arms of Spain, coat of arms of the Prince of Asturias, and coats of arms of Spanish monarchs in Italy. The Spanish Habsburgs also kept up the Burgundian court tradition of the dynast being known by a nickname, for example the bold, the prudent, the bewitched. In Spain they were known as the, and illegitimate sons were known as de Austria, see Don Juan de Austria and Don Juan José de Austria. The War of the Spanish Succession took place after the extinction of the Spanish Habsburg line, to determine the inheritance of Charles II. The main junior line of the house ruled the Duchy of Austria as well as the Kingdom of Bohemia and the Kingdom of Hungary. The dynasty however was split up again in 1564 among the children of deceased Emperor Ferdinand I of Habsburg. The inner Austrian line founded by Archduke Charles II prevailed again, when his son and successor as regent of inner Austria, i.e. the Duchy of Styria, the Duchy of Carniola with March of Istria, the Duchy of Carinthia, the princely county of Gorizia and Gradisca, and the imperial city of Trieste, ruled from Graz. 
Ferdinand II in 1619 became Archduke of Austria and Holy Roman Emperor as well as King of Bohemia and Hungary in 1620. The further austrian slash Tyrolean line of Ferdinand's brother Archduke Leopold survived until the death of his son Sigismund Francis in 1665, whereafter their territories ultimately returned to common control with the other Austrian Habsburg lands. Inner Austrian Schottholders went on to rule until the days of Empress Maria Theresa in the 18th century. The War of the Austrian Succession took place after the extinction of the male line of the Austrian Habsburg line upon the death of Charles VI. The direct Habsburg line itself became totally extinct with the death of Maria Theresa of Austria, when it was followed by the House of Lorraine, styled of Habsburg Lorraine. Queen Maria Christina of Austria of Spain, great granddaughter of Leopold II, Holy Roman Emperor above. Wife of Alfonso XII of Spain and mother of Alfonso XIII of the House of Bourbon. Alfonso XIII's wife Victoria Eugenie of Battenberg was descended from King George I of Great Britain from the Habsburg-Leopold line, above. The House of Habsburg-Lorraine retained Austria and attached possessions after the dissolution of the Holy Roman Empire, see below. A son of Leopold II was Archduke Reiner of Austria whose wife was from the House of Savoy, a daughter Adelaide, Queen of Sardinia was the wife of King Victor Emmanuel II of Piedmont, Savoy, and Sardinia and King of Italy. Their children married into the royal houses of Bonaparte, saxe coburg and Gotha, Braganza Portugal, Savoy, Spain, and the dukedoms of Montferrat and Chablis. Family tree Francis Stephen assigned the Grand Duchy of Tuscany to his second son Peter Leopold, who in turn assigned it to his second son upon his accession as Holy Roman Emperor. Tuscany remained the domain of this cadet branch of the family until Italian unification. The Duchy of Modena was assigned to a minor branch of the family by the Congress of Vienna. It was lost to Italian unification. The dukes named their line the House of Austria Est, as they were descended from the daughter of the last Este Duke of Modena. Doña Maria Leopoldina of Austria, January 22, 1797, December 11, 1826, was an Archduchess of Austria, Empress Consort of Brazil, and Queen Consort of Portugal. The Duchy of Parma was likewise assigned to a Habsburg, but did not stay in the house long before succumbing to Italian unification. It was granted to the second wife of Napoleon I of France, Maria Luisa, Duchess of Parma, a daughter of the Francis II, Holy Roman Emperor, who was the mother of Napoleon II of France. Napoleon had divorced his wife Rose de Tesker de la Pagerie, better known to history as Josephine de Beauharnais, in her favor. Maximilian the adventurous second son of Archduke Franz Karl, was invited as part of Napoleon III's manipulations to take the throne of Mexico, becoming Emperor Maximilian I of Mexico. The conservative Mexican nobility, as well as the clergy, supported this second Mexican empire. His consort, Charlotte of Belgium, a daughter of King Leopold I of Belgium and a princess of the House of Saxe Coburg Gotha, encouraged her husband's acceptance of the Mexican crown and accompanied him as Empress Carlota of Mexico. The adventure did not end well. Maximilian was shot in Cerro de las Campanas, Carretaro, in 1867 by the Republican forces of Benito Juarez. Charles I was expelled from his domains after World War I and the empire was abolished. Sea line of succession to the Austro-Hungarian throne. The kingship of Hungary remained in the Habsburg family for centuries, but as the kingship was not strictly inherited, Hungary was an elective monarchy until 1687 and was sometimes used as a training ground for young Habsburgs, as Palatine of Hungary, the dates of rule do not always match those of the primary Habsburg possessions. Therefore, the kings of Hungary are listed separately. The kingship of Bohemia was from 1306 a position elected by its nobles. As a result, it was not an automatically inherited position. Until the rule of Ferdinand I, Habsburgs didn't gain hereditary accession to the throne and were displaced by other dynasties. Hence, the kings of Bohemia and their ruling dates are listed separately. The Habsburgs became hereditary kings of Bohemia in 1627. By their acquisition of the Bohemian crown in 1526, the Habsburgs secured the highest rank among the secular prince electors of the Holy Roman Empire. Most royal families did not have a family name until the 19th century. They were known as of, in German von, based on the main territory they ruled. For example, sons, daughters, grandsons, and granddaughters of a ruling French king were known as of France. See Wikipedia on House of Bourbon. The name Capet was an invention of the French revolutionaries. Bourbon was in some sense the name of the house as it was differentiated from the previous Valois kings. 
Princes and princesses of the Royal House of England were known as of England, or later Great Britain, see House of Windsor, or of the main title associated with their parent, see Prince William of Wales. In the Middle Ages, princes of England were often known by the town or castle of their birth see John of Gaunt, Henry Bolingbroke, or Henry of Monmouth. Even when the royal family had a last name, see House of Tudor, House of Stuart or House of Windsor, it was not used in their titles. Similarly, the Habsburg name was used as one of the subsidiary titles of the rulers above, as in princely Count of Habsburg, see above under Habsburg Lorraine. The Habsburg arms, see above, were displayed only in the most complete, great arms, of the prince. The dynasty was known as the House of Austria. Most of the princes above were known as Archduke XYZ of Austria and had no need of a surname. Charles V was known in his youth after his birthplace as Charles of Ghent. When he became King of the Spains he was known as Charles of Spain, until he became Emperor, when he was known as Charles V, Charles Quint. In Spain, the dynasty was known as the, and illegitimate sons were given the title of de Austria, see Don Juan de Austria and Don Juan José de Austria. The arms displayed in their simplest form were those of Austria, which the Habsburgs had made their own, at times impaled with the arms of the Duchy of Bergen the Ancient. When Maria Theresa married the Duke of Lorraine, Francis Stephen, see above, there was a desire to show that the ruling dynasty continued as did all its inherited rights, as the ruling dynasty's right to rule was based on inherited legitimate birthright in each of the constituent territories. Using the concept of Habsburg as the traditional Austrian ruler was one of those ways. When Francis I became Emperor of Austria, there was an even further reinforcement of this by the reappearance of the arms of Habsburg in the tripart personal arms of the house with Austria and Lorraine. This also reinforced the Germanness of the Austrian emperor and his claim to rule in Germany against the Prussian kings, or at least to be included in Germany. As Emperor Francis Joseph wrote to Napoleon III Nien, Ich bin ein Deutsche first in the genealogical table above, some younger sons who had no prospects off the throne, were given the personal title of Count of Habsburg. Today, as the dynasty is no longer on the throne, the surname of members of the house is taken to be von Habsburg or more completely von Habsburg Lotharingen, see Otto von Habsburg and Karl von Habsburg. Princes and members of the house use the tripartite arms shown above, generally foregoing any imperial pretensions. The arms of dominion began to take on a life of their own in the 19th century as the idea of the state as independent from the Habsburg dynasty took root. They are the national arms as borne by a sovereign in his capacity as head of state and represent the state as separate from the person of the monarch or his dynasty. That very idea had been, heretofore, foreign to the concept of the Habsburg state. The state had been the personal property of the Habsburg dynasty since the states, territories, and nationalities represented were in many cases only united to the Austro-Hungarian Empire by their historic loyalty to the head of the House of Habsburg as hereditary lord. These full, grand, arms of dominion of Austria-Hungary reflect the complex political infrastructure that was necessarily to accommodate the many different nationalities and groupings within the empire after the Austro-Hungarian Compromise of 1867. After 1867 the eastern part of the empire, also called Translithania, was mostly under the domination of the Kingdom of Hungary. The shield integrated the arms of the Kingdom of Hungary, with two angels and supporters and the crown of St. Stephen, along with the territories that were a subject to it. The Kingdom of Dalmatia, the Kingdom of Croatia, the Kingdom of Slavonia, conjoined with Croatia as the Kingdom of Croatia-Slavonia, formerly known as Triune Kingdom of Croatia, Slavonia, and Dalmatia, although the claim to Dalmatia was mostly to jury, the Great Principality of Transylvania, the Condominium of Bosnia and Herzegovina, 1915-1918, the city of Fiume and its district, modern Rijeka, and in the center, the Kingdom of Hungary. The western or Austrian part of the empire, Cisleithania, continued using the shield of the empire in 1815 but with the seals of various member territories located around the central shield. Paradoxically, some of these coats of arms belong to the territories that were part of the Hungarian part of the Empire on shield. This shield, the most frequently used until 1915, was known as the Middle Shield. There was also the Small Shield, with just the personal arms off Habsburgs, as used in 1815. In 1915, in the middle of World War I, Austria-Hungary adopted a heraldic composition uniting the shield that was used in the Hungarian part also known as the Lands of the Crown of St. Stephen, 
with a new version of the medium shield of the Austrian part is depicted above in the section on the main line of the emperors of Austria. Before 1915, the arms of the different territories of the Austrian part of the empire, heraldry was added to some areas not shown in the previous version and to the left to the Hungarian part, appeared together in the shield positioned on the double-headed eagle coat of arms of the Austrian empire as an in escutcheon. The eagle was inside a shield with a gold field. The latter shield was supported by two griffins and was topped by the Austrian imperial crown, previously these items were included only in the large shield. Then, shown in the center of both arms of dominion, as an in escutcheon to the in escutcheon, is the small shield, i.e. personal arms, of the Habsburgs. All this was surrounded by the collar order of the golden fleece. In the heraldic composition of 1915, the shields of the two foci of the empire, Austria and Hungary were brought together. The griffin supporter on the left was added for Austria and an angel on the right as a supporter for Hungary. The center featured the personal arms of the Habsburgs Habsburg, Austria and Lorraine. This small shield was topped with the royal crown and surrounded by the collar of the Order of the Golden Fleece, below which was the military order of Maria Theresa, below which was the collars of the orders of St. Stephen's and Leopold. At the bottom was the motto that read AC indivisibility or inseparability, indivisible and inseparable. There were other simplified versions which did not have the supports depicted, and the simple shields of Austria and Hungary. These were the arms of the Empire of Austria with an inescutcheon of Austria, and the arms of Hungary, with checker of Croatia at the tip. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.